what's me talk to back to another video on the channel and today i'll be showing you guys a comparison video between sodium and optifine on 1.16.1 and before this video begins as well i just want to say that in this video i say a lot of stuff and i talk a lot and if you want the answer immediately there's gonna be a timestamp right over here saying when i say which one is better for you, Optifine or Sodium? So if you want the actual explanation, keep watching the video. If you want to know the answer, go to that timestamp. All right? Um, anyways, enjoy the video. Optifine versus Sodium. Here we go. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to show you how it is without either of them on. So if you want to check that out, um, go to the card where I go through the mod showcase video for Sodium. And yeah, sodium is very powerful, but now that Optifine is released for 1.16.1, let's compare the two. So Optifine, here I am flying around with it used on the fabric loader, fabric launcher, however you want to describe it. Um, this is it on the fabric API thing. And if you, and I'm going to do another test run with Optifine um, launched separately from the fabric launcher thing. I don't know how it's called exactly, but the fabric launcher. So, uh, yeah. Here it is. Uh, we're at 300, 400. My specs are RTX 2080 Super and Intel i9-9900. So, it's a very powerful computer, I'd say. And, yeah. It's actually running pretty good, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Time for it to be launched without the uh, fabric loader. So the reason why I'm doing this, by the way, using both the Fabric API thing and also the Optifine, just straight Optifine, is because I wanted to show you that there is a slight difference in performance where I did show that the Optifine with the Fabric Loader, and now I'm showing you with Optifine without the thing. And you might have noticed that I've actually hit 500 FPS with, by just standing still. Let's see if I can hit it again. Uh, uh, wait, oh, I, I hit it before. I don't know what, why is it not hitting now. Um, I don't know. But basically, uh, oh yeah, if you look up at the sky, I think, yeah, okay. But basically, um, with, uh, with Optifine separate, you get a little bit more performance out of your system than if it were to be launched via Fabric. And it kind of makes sense because you're launching it by itself. Uh, it gives a slight bit of performance, but, you know, it's not that big of a, a performance difference. So if you have any other FPS boosting mods for Fabric, you can just shove it into Fabric and then um, launch it with Optifine, and then you're good to go. But, yeah. that's it's a, nice, it's a nice performance boost for your world. Let's go on to Fabric now with the sodium on. Yeah. By the way, before I show the results to our little test here, I just want to say that don't expect the results that I'm getting because uh, I just want to say this right now, my computer is powerful, your computer might not be powerful, so don't expect to get the same results as I am because I'm just getting absolutely gr fantastic results. But depending on your computer, you might prefer um, Optifine or Sodium or whatnot, or you might even not even see that big of a FPS boost. That's just because your computer may not be able to get that much performance out of the game despite having these amazing mods installed. Now, another thing I want to say out right now is that you cannot have both Sodium and Optifine together. It's either one or the other because the API used to get Sodium in here goes against Optifine, so it's, it's really, really tough. Anyways, as you can see by the surrounding area, the chunks actually l l rendered in a lot faster, which is an indication of how powerful sodium is for chunk rendering. Now, if you hit F3 and walk around, you'll notice something interesting. I don't exactly know why it's doing this, but apparently... Apparently, my sodium doesn't seem to be giving me 
any higher results than it used to when we did the uh, the review. So what I find interesting is that you can actually glitch the system a little bit to think that um, you're running 48 chunks when actually the maximum for a sodium is, should be about 32 chunks. And that's because Optifine, if you set Optifine to 48 chunks, it will maintain the same settings for fabric. I don't know the exact details. I'm not that big of a big brain. So anyways, because of that issue, I'm actually experiencing frame drops from our previous lovely little thing, Optifine. So I'm going to go fix that real quick, but it's a bit of an interesting thing to learn. So yeah, uh, give me a second. Alrighty then. So in conclusion, um, it looks like each of the mods that I use, Sodium and Optifine, they vary in FPS. Sometimes Optifine has more FPS, sometimes Sodium has more FPS. I don't know why this difference happened because Last time I used Sodium, it was a game-breaking mod. And Optifine didn't even manage to get 173 F 173 FPS, that's very exact. A 200 FPS when I actually used it um, around the same time I used that Sodium mod for my little test. I don't know why this difference happened, but regardless, I... I just gonna, I'm just going to say right now, just, you know, use whichever mod feels the best for your computer. I'll link both mods in the description below. Um, and also the side mods that I used in order to actually get this thing to work. And, uh, yeah. But, in my opinion, I just like Optifine only because of the variety of settings it provides and uh, the amount of customization and whatnot. So, me personally, I'll stick with Optifine because Optifine, just everything about it from the, the settings that you can customize to the zoom, it uh, offers a lot more to, uh, to Minecraft than Sodium. But, you know, Sodium might lower your lag. <laughs> yes, lower your lag. It might improve your performance on Minecraft a lot better than Optifine. So if it does, then you can use it. But, you know. Overall, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, like the video, subscribe, go subscribe, member, see me at the top, and to be the top. I'll see you guys next video. Take care and good. Bye.